Hello YouTube. Today we're doing the brakes on a Hyundai Tucson or Tucson, however you want to call it. Uh, only problem I've got is I'm gonna have to drill out the screws that hold it in because these are just threaded. Got a, a special drill thing that should hopefully help me drill it out. So we'll get on with this and we'll come back to you. That's hot. <laughs> Luckily, both top and bottom because they were both gone. So let's get on with doing the brakes. This bolt here and this bolt down here, those are both 14 mil. I've already loosened these off. Now what we're going to want to do, there's two bolts on the back of here. There's one up the top and there's one just where my paw is there. That to undo these two too. So we've loosened the bottom one. Now we are doing the top one. So these all break up and break the line tools. They pull it on the way, it's really not cracking like it's supposed to be. And we just screw that in, and it's short. Pull all the way back in. I think that's last words. There you go, we're getting there. That's it. So once you clean the hardware off, make sure you clean your paws. And I'm going to show you just like this quickly. You clip it in. And if you can see. And then, and then like that. And obviously that's where the brake pads sit. Now make sure you've got clean paws. And then we're going to put copper grease on here and in there. Just to make sure they don't squeak. Uh, it's now a good time just to check that these slide freely. Which these both do. If they don't, pull them out and uh, re-grease them. But like I said, these are, these are sliding freely. These are good. So I'll pop that back in. Jobs again. Break this time. So we take that off. We don't want that anymore. We've got a new one. I'm going to put it on backwards first. But I like putting it on backwards first. Then just give it a quick clean. Just get rid of everything. Make sure that's all clean. Use all of the brake like that. Another break like that. Spin it round. So we're going to want the two holes. Up there. there we go. So that goes on there like that. Let me see your other one. We'll clip in the same. Yeah, this is the same, you don't want to touch any copper grease. Now it's ready to go back on the car. So now's the time to put the caliper bracket, I want to say. Yeah, it's time to put this on. If, like me, you've been an animal and you've annihilated the screws that hold the disc on, just put a lug nut on just to make sure it doesn't fall off. I mean, it will still move, but it won't move that much. And it'll be a lot easier. So you put that back over. And you line it up. You at least try. Put 
to check the people. I will find out what these are and put them in the description. But for the minute, I, uh, like I said, don't you, uh, you call them, I mean, anti-war violence. I know they call them soldiers, but they call them this, I'm not even active in them, so. I'm not sure. Lubrication on the front of the piston. Just a tiny, tiny amount. Just to make sure it doesn't squeal. And then I'll also put some on here. So there's one there and one there, and that's where these are going to sit, forward and back. Pause a clean. Then it's pretty much the last bit. What you do not want to do is you don't want to stretch the brake holes. And you put that on like that, and you should just be able to slide it down. You might have to put the bolt, uh, you might have to put the sliders in a little bit. And we put that on. And we put that on. Make sure it free slides, which that does. We're happy with that. And yeah. Obviously, your 14. And like I say, I will get the specs for these bolts for, the, uh, for how you torque them down. And I shall put them in the description. Go around and make sure all your bolts are tight. And then there you go, you have done your own brakes on your vehicle. Just make sure everything's clean, make sure every every bolt is tight, and make sure that you don't get any copper grease or any lubricating fluid on the actual brake disc itself or the pads. Yeah, torque all your bolts up to spec and you are good to go. Thank you.